so unlike a lot of my other videos this one is not sped up it is in real time there was about two inches maybe at most in this driveway I went around this morning and I plowed a few driveways a couple things I wanted to check was the camera mount I have on the roof did I have the GoPro remote in the truck with me to turn it on and off I wanted to see how it was gonna look which it seems to be pretty nice actually and I want to play around with this new plow. I just bought this plow this year, as many of you already know, and I haven't really plowed with it at all. The one big storm we got, I was in Florida, so I didn't get to plow that, and we had, um, I had a little bit of cleanup work to do when I got back from Florida, so I plowed like two or three driveways with it, but other than that, there hasn't been any snow this year, so I haven't plowed anything, so I wanted to get a feel for this plow. Um, I ran Myers, and then, you know, after that, I, I ran Boss plows, so, going to this western plow it's nice i like it um i definitely like the boss plow better so far i just like the way it handles the boss plow is a lot stiffer when i move left to right and i let go of that controller it stops dead um when i go up or down it's a lot more responsive um, than this western plow and that very well may be because of the cylinder instead of the chain lift um a lot of people told me I would like this better in case, you know, I ever ran into a problem where the plow wouldn't lift. You know, with the chain, you can run it up on a snowbank, hook the chain up higher, back away, and go to where you need to go to fix it. Well, I've had that issue with the boss plow, and I did the same exact thing. All I did was ran the plow up onto a snowbank, and then I took a heavy-duty ratchet strap and wrapped it around the bottom of the frame, up over the top of the mass, and it held the plow up. And I, uh drove to the garage to fix it um but other than that you know it, it's all right it's a pretty nice plow like i said i'm not really plowing much here my trigger point is three inches i don't touch anything under three inches and like i said there's only about two inches here so um you know these people just live here part-time uh, they're paid for the season they're not going to care if i plow this or not and I did that with about five driveways this morning. We're supposed to get that huge storm coming in this weekend. I really don't think it's going to be what they claim it's going to be. Um, they're saying anywhere from 12 to 14 inches in our area. I'm guessing maybe eight, but we'll see. You know, it it could come with a light dusting or we could get pounded. It could go either way. So um, I'm really not sure how that's going to go, but I just wanted to test this out, get a little used to this plow and stuff before that big storm comes. So just another quick video for you guys and I hope you enjoy this. So I will definitely be using this setup with the mount on top of the truck because I like having the remote in the truck and I can just shut it on and off when I want. I don't think it's going to work so well doing it in the middle of a storm because i think the lens is just going to get so packed with snow coming down you won't be able to see anything but you know we'll try it and we'll see what it does i'm curious to see how well it looks at night too so um i'll stop talking here and you guys can finish watching this video and let me know what you think